Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm back again with another really interesting coding interview question video. This time guys, we are going to solve question number 1491, average salary excluding the minimum and maximum salary. Before I start with the video guys, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, then please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications of more such programming and coding related videos and let's get started. So first of all guys, we are given an array of unique integers and this array is called as salary. Here we can see that uh, the ith val value of uh, salary array is the salary of the ith employee. So we want to find out the average salary of employees, but we have to keep into consideration that we should not include in that average the minimum and the maximum salary. So for example, in this case, we have got salaries 4,000, 3,000, 1,000 and 2,000. So we have to exclude the minimum salary, which is 1,000 and the maximum salary, which is 4,000. And with the rest of them, we have to find out the average. So with 3,000 and 2,000, the average becomes equals to 2,500. So that's the answer. Also, we have to give the answer in a double. So this also we have to keep into mind. Another example here, you can see that the salary is 1,000, 2,000 and 3,000. So definitely the output is going to be 2,000 because the minimum and the maximum values are excluded. Constraints are that the length of the array is ranging from 3 to 1,000. The value ranges from 1,000 to 10 to the power 6 and all the integers of salaries are unique. Okay. So now let's get started with the solution. So the first solution approach which we are actually not going to implement but just discuss is the sorting approach. Okay. So what we are going to do guys, we are going to just sort the salary array and then sum all elements except the first and last element. Okay. So uh, once you sum all the elements then you can simply easily find the average. But uh, the problem with this solution is that the time complexity of this solution is going to depend upon the sorting algorithm so that time complexity becomes equal to order of n log n. So we can actually optimize this approach by not actually sorting the salary array uh, just by doing something else. Okay, so we can actually do this in order of n time uh, with a different approach. Okay, so let's see that. Okay. So uh, in another approach, what we can do is we can actually run a for loop of uh, n elements and find out the minimum and maximum element. And also while traversing through all the elements, we can simply do the sum minimum and maximum elements and also find the sum of all elements. Okay. And finally, when you are out of this for loop, simply do sum becomes equals to sum minus minimum element and minus maximum element so basically in that for loop uh, we find out the sum of all the elements also minimum and maximum elements uh, we subtract the minimum and maximum elements from the sum and finally return the average using that sum so using this approach guys we are going to solve our question only in order of n time complexity instead of order of n log n okay so now that we know the approach let's get started with the implementation part so the first thing is we have to declare our minimum and maximum element so minimum element by default is going to have the integer dot max value this is going to be the maximum integer value uh, we are initializing a minimum with this because later on we are going to uh, compare and finally assign minimum variable the minimum value and uh, similarly for maximum the default value for maximum is going to be integer dot min value and by a subsequent comparison we are going to assign it the maximum value later the double sum uh, this is the sum of our elements by default initialized to zero now integer i equals to 0 to i less than salary dot length. This is our for loop which we are going to use to traverse our salary array. Now sum uh, is going to just increment by uh, the salary value initially. So sum becomes equal to sum plus salary i. 
then we are going to check if salary i is greater than the maximum element if it is greater than the maximum element then max becomes equal to salary i similarly we are going to check if uh, salary is lesser than the minimum element if salary is lesser than the minimum element then minimum becomes equals to salary i finally when the for loop is going to get over we are just going to do sum becomes equals to sum and subtract the minimum and the maximum element from it so now that we have subtracted the minimum and maximum element we are ready to return the average so the average is going to be sum divided by the total number of elements in the salary array minus 2 because we are not included minimum and maximum element so salary dot dot length minus 2 okay so let's run this code guys let's see if this works and you can see that it works with one example and hopefully it is going to get submitted uh, yes it is so as i have already explained to you guys uh, the time complexity for this solution is going to be order of n the space complexity is going to be uh, space complexity is going to be order of 1 because we are not using any extra space uh, so that was the solution guys i hope you guys enjoyed this solution and i hope it was clear to you if you do like the solution guys then please do not forget to hit the like button and share this video with your friends as well if you have not yet subscribed to my channel then i please request you guys to do subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications of more such videos i make your videos every day from monday to friday guys so i'll see you guys in the next video until then take care and if you have any questions comments suggestions for me please write down in the comment section below i would be happy to read them uh, so thank you so much for watching until next time bye bye